For the first time in MLB The Show on launch, we have two Diamond Mike Trouts. The Face the Franchise one and the Live Series one. Both of them are way different in the price to obtain them. One is earned for 30k or for free, the other one is 300k on the market in a very rare pull in packs. So, which one is going to really bring you the most value? I'm going to provide you all the information comparing these two cards and help you make that decision today, or with any sort of card in the face of franchise program that has a live series diamond. Let's get into it. First of all, I do need to premise this. I'm just going to provide you with the information comparing the two. Weigh the pros and cons of each card, really help you make the decision so you know what you are doing if you are really questioning this. Obviously, cards like Acuna are also in the same boat. Trout is Trout. He is way different in price because his live series is 300k. And that's a lot of stubs to spend on one player. But make this decision on your own based on your own situation. However, I'll give my information and my feedback on what I would do in each situation. But first of all, both of these cards have live series quirks. These are the quirks that are given to current player cards in the game that get flashbacks based off of this year. So Trout gets Homebody, Night Player, Unfazed, Dead Red, Breaking Ball Hitter, and Rally Monkey. These six quirks are pretty solid quirks, but he has a lot of them which will make a live series card be very beneficial. Face of Franchise cards have those too. So this Trout play above these attributes in game a lot of the time because those quirks will be active. They'll boost that contact power a little bit, very likely. So he actually will play above this. So he's a nice Face of Franchise card in comparison to the other ones because of the amount of quirks he has. However, in terms of the differences in the two cards, Live Series Trout here, first of all, he's better, but he gets the inside edge. As you see, he has a five-star matchup rating today, gets a boost in two overall. He got plus nine contact and plus eight power versus righties today. Playing Jake Odorizzi, and this is something the card has that the face the franchise one doesn't, inside edge. So even though base 95 overall is very good. He will play up to even 97 like today, just with those inside edge attributes. Very, very valuable and why a lot of people like this Trout. You could use him for months and he would be an elite top center field option no matter what with inside edge. But if you do compare the two, the other Trout is basically just a down 10 in all of the hitting attributes from contact and vision. Same speed and also down five in all of the fielding. So this is basically a mini live series trout. So especially in the beginning game, it'll play very similarly to a really good trout. It'll be basically the same exact thing with how we'll play in game very likely. It's just as the game goes on, we'll get better pitchers. Those PCIs will get smaller for the face to franchise one. And there will likely be a point where there'll be better, more attractive options. Finally, we have to talk about supercharges. This is a feature they announced yesterday. They're doing this for the first two days of games. They're going to be doing it throughout the year as well. So supercharges act a little bit like inside edge, but if a player has an exceptionally good game and does something special, they're going to be boosted for two days, I believe, to an egregious amount like this Bobby Witt Jr. And they are doing it for the first couple days for opening day, but these will be a rare thing. However, it seems to be only a live series card thing. Bobby Witt Jr. here got a fat boost. Someone like Trout, maybe down the year if he does something incredible, could get that super boost for a couple days and probably get up to 99 overall. It just be incredible for a couple days. I don't know if that'll happen. I don't think it will. There's at least that sliver of possibility where you get a couple days of really good value out of this Trout card. And finally, Trout does get the value of his Lie series for the collections. You are someone who is going for these. This Trout gets double value because you could collect him for the Angels along with Otani. Basically, once you get these two, they really aren't too bad to collect. You get Troy Gloss out of this, which is a nice third baseman, especially in the beginning game. So now that we have compared the two, compared the pros and cons of the live series and the face of the franchise, what do I suggest you do based on how you play the game? If you are looking for a center fielder to throw on your team to start the game, this face the franchise trout is one of your best options. There are a couple other good names as well. This one I think is great because of the, again, the reverse splits his swing, the quirks he gets, and he's an elite center fielder right now. However, the lifespan of him is going to be very brief, so keep in mind when you are getting him, whether it's for free in a choice pack, hopefully you get him in your no-sell pack, or you buy him in the market, his lifespan on your team will not be too long. Um, If you have a lot of stubs and you're looking for like a long-term player, this live series shot will be the one for you. If you plan on playing the game all year and plan on getting live series collections, and you do have a lot of stubs at this point, 
I would recommend this Trout. He's worth the stubs. He's that much better. And honestly, I think this card is like an elite card for this first one, two month span of the game. So getting a hold of him right now would be valuable because I think he's going to go up over time. And it's definitely one of those things to worry about because two months down the road, he might be 400K depending on the situation. If you can get him ASAP and you have the subs to do, I would really recommend focusing on him. But as of right now in the beginning game, those are the things I would be considering when making this decision. I hope this video helped you. Hopefully this led you in the right direction. Let me know in the comments, which trout are you gonna get or rock for now? Are you even gonna use Mike Trout? If you guys wanna see my tier list on all the face of franchise cards, including guys like Acuna, make sure you check that out up here if you are weighing those outfielder options on your team. But for now, I will see you all again on the next video.